Welcome to episode 29 of the The Sky 5 Complete LP. Uh, as we, uh, what, blah, 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 blah. as I said prior, we're gonna start this like episode to go, dude? off quickly. Let's go to Toto Castle for the second map in the stage. Kind Circuit. Oh, it's like a it's like a great Mario Kart map. Whew. My word. There's no end to this. How many corpses did Margarita put in this castle? Yes, this is Christo. I'm currently busy. Yoo-hoo, little Christo. I figured it's about time you made your decision, so I called you. It's 20 hours till the launch of Armageddon. Calculating the time it'll take for you to escape. I figured you've already decided. Yeah, about that. There's something I wanted to ask you about. Hmm? What is it? Yes. It's true that by using my clairvoyance, I can pinpoint Void Dark's almost exact location. But then there's no need for a weapon of mass destruction like Armageddon. Using something else would minimize the collateral damage. Why would we do that? Don't you think it's weird for an angel to worry about the netherworld? You, you have a point, but... Besides, what do you think would happen if Void Dark survives? Celestia would definitely get counterattacked, right? Using your clairvoyance to drop Armageddon on Void Dark's head is the only way to be sure. Hmm. Hey, hello! Can you give me an answer? Remaining silent won't help here. Uh, sorry. Please, give me a little more time to think. Even the fortune told you not to be indecisive? You should decide quick. Why am I having so much trouble with this? If I can take out Void Dark, the suspicion around me will be lifted. What is this feeling in my chest? So I find it interesting how he was just off on the side, whereas everyone else was surrounded. Um, get this map isn't too bad, um, but it's definitely more. Super, Let's go. Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna have to use magic, <laughs> like my. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to hit him. Ugh. Do these guys jump down? These guys, I guarantee, throw those. Oh, God. Let's go! Uh, whatever. <sighs> Too late. Boink. Nope. Uh... I can just be there. All men are my servants. I'm going, Blake! Uh, yeah! I'm not sure how these are gonna work, but. You guys! Uh, so let's let's put super some people Because <sighs> those guys, yeah, I knew they were gonna throw those. Because of course they would. Yeah. Okay, okay. And, those, and the maids come down. Okay. Yeah. That's what I figured, but I wasn't too sure. Okay, and let's see. These guys are level 55. So, that just tells you about where you're supposed to be in, in this. And I probably should have just. Probably, probably should have just taken Pram out Daddy's from the beginning anyway. Because it would make this go a lot faster. Um, I'm gonna move Killy over here to try and proc them to jump down faster. And I'm gonna spread them out that way. The barrels hit as many people at once. Not that I'm worrying about the damage they could do. Rather, uh, insignificant. I'm surprised that those wrestlers weren't. Uh, they, uh, their AI wasn't programmed to throw down all the boxes. Damn you! Yeah, and you can see with Pram's uh, ability. 
she just takes these guys out in one hit because their life is just not even close enough what, to what it would need to be to survive one hit from her. Damn. Yeah. 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 So you do. You now we have found out that like Christo is working for the angels. You okay? And you can see that the angels are very like unangelic. That because you would think like they would care about all life, not specifically angel life. Because they're very like they're just like oh demons. Like yeah, we like why would we care about demon life? They're they're evil. But it's kind of unangelic of them. Christo, behind you. Huh? Oh, S sorry. Thanks for the help. Thanks for the help? What are you doing? Why are you just standing there? You obviously seem to be bothered by something. Is the air in the netherworld not comforting for an angel? No, no, no. Like I said, I'm an overlord. I really am a demon. Oh, is that so? Forgive me then. <laughs> is something bothering you, Christo? If you don't mind, I can listen and help you out, Clip. It's nothing. Look, Christo, it can't be nothing. Anyone can see your trouble just by looking at you. used a lot of energy when he saved Usalia, so he must be tired, Flip. He'll feel better in a little while, Flip. Until then, Usalia will protect Christo. Is that okay? Usalia? All right. If you don't want to say it, it's okay. Men have a secret or two that they don't want anyone to know. I trust those words come from experience. <laughs> Shut up! Stop teasing me! Christo, I won't ask what's on your mind. But if something's troubling you, you can trust us. He's right, Christo. If you have a problem, you can tell us. We're your allies. <sighs> Please stop everyone. You're all demons. Why are you being so nice to me? If you were all cold hearted and evil like I imagined, then I wouldn't have to think this hard. I. What should I do? So now we see Krista's inner struggle where it's like, oh. At the beginning, he was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna use these and be able to throw them away. Like, these demons, I don't really care. But going through all the shit they have together, it's like, these, like, they're not, they're not the demons I thought they'd be. They're not evil. Well, I mean, Let's they're fix you up. Like, evil in, like, a very blatant, malicious way. They're all demons. Still, what? But they're not, they don't just do mean things for the sake of it and whatnot. They're not assholes. So, like, I don't want to do it anymore. But uh, one thing I found funny is how uh, how the superior calls Christo Little Christo. Where would you like to go, dude? And then Red Magnus calls him Little Sisto. It's like, what? They have, like, this nearly the same nickname for him? So now we're going to Bunny Hop Stairs. I have a feeling that I'm going to need some throwing or some jumps. Damn it. Yes, this is Christo. It's lucky bonus quiz time! Quick, how many more hours till we launch the anti-netherworld annihilation weapon Armageddon? Tick tock, tick tock! The correct answer is four hours. Huh? O only four hours? You're lying. Well, you did get the lucky bonus quiz wrong. Th that's just stupid! Stupid? How rude! Like a loving father, I was only trying to push you into making a decision. You have four hours left. You better start evacuating or you won't make it in time. 
<sighs> hmm? Why are you so concerned? Only a couple hundred netherworlds will be blown up along with Void Dark. What's wrong with that? You can say goodbye to those lowly demons. Aren't you happy? Lowly. Hmm? Are you mad? But you said so yourself. Demons are lowly. You said you were just using those annoying demons. Use them as pawns and sacrifice them. And that's what you said. That is how I used to think, but... Now they're my allies, and I depend on them in battle. Hmm? Oh, so they're your allies now. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I, I simply misspoke. How should I put this? Well, if that's the case, then I guess you should feel troubled. Oh my, so much teen angst. I didn't think I'd ever hear those words from you, Christo. You might actually be a spy. Like I said, <laughs> I'm just kidding. See ya! My god. How did this even happen? Allies. Demons as my allies. What am I saying? So it is quite interesting, because it's like, wow, he... Oh, damn you. Oh, you bastards. Okay. That silence, no lifting, which means Let's go. relying heavily on people's natural movement abilities. Run away anymore. Which rather sucks. Luckily, I highly prioritized movement. You guys, over let's super go. So, this is honestly a pretty good map for me. And, pram, because the base panel does not have sides and stuff like that. Unfortunately, you can't lift from the base panel. So, they were wielding the printy swords. I believe in each game the magic change weapon changes. Like, the printies aren't always swords. I believe in one game they were... Oh, of course I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. In fact, let's just... Let's just you. Get you out of there. Okay. Turn, turn. Here you go. Yeah. So that person was basically just like had the ability of treated like a pretty. And <laughs> so that that AI is intended for you to be like, oh, you you're right here, and then everyone just books it to try and get away, and they blow up all the things. Uh, not very complicated AI. It's actually quite simplistic. But, you know, what you gonna do? So, I don't even... I'm just gonna intern here, because Pram's thing will probably kill it. Huh. I guess I missed. Oh well. I'm not too... Here I am. Uh, yeah. surprised by that. I'm not sure what its accuracy is, but it has missed before. You! Yeah. Easy enough. I probably could have just ended stage again and it would hit next time. God, that doctor sucks. That dude doctor that totally doesn't look like a dude. I can just imagine Christo Superior like lounging around in like a super modernist house. Nah, I just don't know. What should I do? Christo, Christo, your horns fell on the ground, Flip. Oh, pardon me. I hadn't noticed. Oh, uh, no, this isn't what it seems. Oh my, what isn't what it seems? My horns didn't fall off. I it was simply an optical illusion. Nobody said anything about horns. Uh... I mean, Usalia did. <laughs> I see. Something must be really troubling you. 
What do you mean, Sir Kilia? There's a type of demon whose horns fall off when they're under a lot of stress. I forget what they're called, but sorry, Christo. I didn't know you were one of them. Kilia. Bro, is there really a race of demons like that? Yeah, of course there is. Dude, kill you, you shouldn't man. put yourself under that much stress, Blit. Please get some rest, Christo. Thank you very much. But if I don't hurry, Armageddon... Armageddon? Sounds cool! I can't wait to see it! Uh, no, it's not that. Uh, forget it. Let's go defeat Margarita. <laughs> Kill you playing the goddamn best wingman there is. So, uh, Chris, goddamn mentors be. I'm gonna take that mentor out. Because uh, I want them. Go ahead and enjoy. I want statisticians. Because I fin I, uh, I boosted the. Mentor, okay, you guys together. You learn skills faster when you have this on. Um, so it's actually pretty decent. It's a decent one to have. Um, but I'll just I'll put them in there, and I upgraded the Innocent Farm uh, squad so that awesome. there's a 10% higher chance of. Um, that, why? There's why. Forgot that this. Controllers like a Xbox controller, except a little bit different. Uh, innocent rate, as you can see, level nine is uh, birth rate is plus ten percent, whereas all the other ones are just growth rates. So this makes it a ten percent chance where I'll get it after every battle, I believe. So if I go on like a long item world trek, which I'm not going to in this version of Sky Five, because crashes fucking suck in this game. Let's fix you up. Uh, then you could come out with like many innocents being born, I believe. Like that is one of the unfortunate parts. It's one of like the best like parts of the OG you like to go, uh, Sky dude? game, Sky 5 game, was just being like, okay, you know what? I don't need these two hours. I'm going to just drop two hours into this one item, just go through all the levels and just chill. Like just relax, but unfortunately. Damn! We were so close! They crawled out of nowhere! Quit complaining! Hurry up and get rid of them! Alright, leave it to me! Hey! Aren't you gonna fight, sis? Once we get through them, we'll finally be up against Majorita. Don't get careless. All right, then to start things off with a bang, I'm gonna get super ridiculously rowdy! Yes! This time, I definitely will get revenge for my parents, Flip! It's very important to get Margarita, but there's actually something far more dire going on. If Armageddon is launched, this place won't be safe either. I should tell everyone the truth, but I can't do that without revealing my true identity. In that case, I should just escape. Wait, if I could bring myself to do that, then I wouldn't have been so troubled about it. <sighs> what has happened to me? My old self would have escaped right away. <sighs> the more I think about it, the more indecisive I become. This is all your guys' fault for not acting like demons. If you were shrewder and more dislikable, then I wouldn't have any problem simply sacrificing you. <sighs> has there ever been a problem that has given a genius angel from Celestia this much trouble? Let's get into this fight and just wreck their shite. Okay, so the cool thing about this map is this map has also been used quite a bit. In that, ones like this show up in the item world and it's the bank so the bank is one of like the special floors where if you complete it you get a bonus to the item but it's really hard 
is you basically you'll go up to a bank teller who's at a desk like right here. You talk to him. You'll be like, oh, you're robbing the bank? I need help. And then these super high level demons spawn. And it's like, oh shit, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And there's actually, uh, like, there's no leaving panel. There's no red panel to leave on. Let's go! So you're, so you're like, it's my turn. you are essentially you're just swearing to yourself, like, where do I go? Like, I have no idea what to do. I see no possible way to get out of this. Off. And one of the coolest things that the game doesn't tell you is basically if you spawn right here, your blue panel's right here, and then the cat, your guide, is always to the right. If you lift up the cat, which you can do, uh, hidden underneath the cat is actually the leaving panel. It's invisible. You can't see it. But you can just go through it and you leave. And you don't die. Which is awesome. But this because quick. I've died many but times on the quick. bank prior to learning uh, that quick. secret. Let's go. And it is... Oh, it's just so much better knowing it. So... For those of you who are like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this game, remember that. Remember that very much. Don't forget that piece of information. So he just made a bunny sword, which actually I think looks pretty cool. Trick light, trick light. So this map is basically just gonna be relying on Seraphine and Rosalia. Um, yeah, I guess I can overload. Perform a mass attack. Oh, damn. So, remember the. I'm not actually sure how much. I'm not sure how much damage it does comparatively. Like, it did about 2,000 damage. And I'm not sure where. I'm not sure if it, like, takes half of your attack. And that's how it decides. Um. The, um. Uh, the damage, or if it's some other amount. But it's definitely very useful, especially when you're facing a lot of weaker enemies. Okay, so what I'm going to do... No. Duh. Let's go. The problem with maneuvering these menus with a analog stick, and I could be using the pad, but I decided to use the stick. Okay, I'm turning the are extreme. I figured I'd do that because I can only level up when there's her extreme move when she's in her revenge mode. Which greatly decreases the like, time I have to do it. That's funny. And you are dumb. All men are my servant. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to hit them. Do that. Hello. I have a spike ball that's an axe, even though it's an axe. Okay, just clear that real quick. No problem, no problem. And I do like how if you finish the level with Usalia in rage mode, she is in rage mode there. The magical spear is just up ahead. Majorita is most likely waiting for us there. Right! Let's go get her! I'll put an end to this, Flick! Wait. Before that, there's something we need to settle. Has he discovered my true identity? I have to eat. Hey there, bro. We came all this way, and now you've got to eat? I find that quality of yours to never let the situation get to you very charming, but how can you eat at a time like this? Plus, look how much he's eating, Cliff. Are you going to finish that all by yourself? I've been consuming a lot of calories lately. Don't worry, this won't take long. I'll be done in three minutes. What's wrong? Do you want some too, Christo? No. I don't have any appetite right now, but thank you for the offer. By the way, I have something to tell everyone. After this battle with Margarita, I'm thinking of leaving the rebel army. What? Why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you saying all of a sudden? You're the one who started the rebel army. 
I won't let you leave without my permission. State your reasons. It's an order from my superior. I have to go back immediately. Your superior? From certain giant? Just ignore it! Old Man Magnus is right. We're demons. Who cares about orders? Please, just leave me alone. Please don't make this any harder for me than it is right now. You guys are demons. Demons! Why do you care about others so much? You're all way too selfless! That's unfortunate. I wasn't interested in joining the Rebel Army to begin with, but before I noticed, I was used to you guys having my back. For me, ever since the day I swore to get revenge, the concept of accepting others has been unthinkable. Hmm. You're right, Christo. I used to think that demons were heartless and couldn't possibly care about others. But demons do have the capacity to care about others. It takes a warm heart and a pure heart. Somebody taught me that. Somebody? Do you mean Goldion? Christo, you seem to be denying the possibility that demons are capable of caring about others. Is that true? Huh? To me, it seems like you care more about the well-being of your allies than any of us. But, no, I don't. I'm caring? That's preposterous. It's the truth, Flip. You saved Usalia's life. Th that's... Christo, can you face your heart one last time? And if the answer you come up with doesn't change, then I won't stop you. You can leave the Rebel Army. Hey, Kilia! Sir Kilia, are you certain about that? Yeah. Christo is different than me. I'm sure he'll find the right answer. I understand. It's true that I'm still confused. I'll find my answer after the next fight. Next fight, which, at the Overlord's Throne, you can assume is the last fight. Also, because it's the fifth battle. And we still don't have any conversations, because pretty conversation-heavy plot itself. So, um, what do I want to do here? I guess I should probably just go right back into it. After I save, of course. Because, uh, I did, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the, gonna do a different save icon. Um, um, I'm trying to think whose thing I like. You know, Seraphina, you can, you can be, uh, icon for a little bit. Boom. Okay, cool. Wish we had, uh, what character? I forget. There's one, I wish I could get a general character. Where would you like to go, dude? Models. Going into Toto Bunny Castle, over at Lord's Throne, enter this stage. And some more silence for plot. Have you no shame in coming here? <laughs> Who wants to be the next to die from poison? What are you talking about? Usalia! Yes, Flick! Th that can't be! How could you have survived my venom? I have strong allies! Your venom doesn't scare me, Flick! Allies? You naive little girl. Margarita! I'm gonna get revenge for my mother and father! It all ends today, Flip! Red Magnus? Huh. I'd be a little worried if you did this by yourself. Let's be super flashy about ending this! Let's follow, and put an end to this. Right with you, bro! <laughs> are you sure? These two are in trouble.
poisoned? No, it doesn't seem like it. Then what is it? You fools are greatly mistaken. I'm known as the Corpse Master Overlord, but I'm not a necromancer. What? With my overload skill Broken Faith Magia, I can freely control my opponents by injecting them with my blood. With this ultimate power, I can control corpses and give pain to living beings. I gave them a tiny dose of it, but it's enough to make them kill each other. <laughs> Now kill each other, if you please! Usalia, please, get a hold of yourself! Old Man Magnus, she's not your enemy! That's Usalia! My, what happened? They stopped moving! What are you guys doing? Hurry up and fight each other! Kill each other! Looks like that didn't go as planned. Materita, you may not know, but in this world, there is one power that surpasses even that of an Overlord's. It's allies. That's it. Their strong feelings towards each other are supporting them. Uh, allies? I won't allow such a power! I won't! I won't! Margarita, you should simply admit defeat already. You'll never be able to defeat us. What, what is this? What is this warm light? to us all right I knew you could do it Christo why my broken faith was broken so easily there is no method for destroying my broken faith in the netherworld if there could be one then uh, are you an ancient I am Overlord Christo, Chief Tactician of the Rebel Army. Hey. Okay. So here we see a lot of zombies and maids. More zombies and more maids. And you're level 60 with a super attack stats. So now she's using two unique weapons in both hands, I believe. Coffins, increase attack by units defeated times 10%, so she gets stronger if she defeats more people. Death blow ally units, so basically, unit, so this is very useful, and this is dual wield. So, basically she gets full stat bonuses from others. So these two together are very useful, especially when she's an enemy. <laughs> because she'll just be able to kill a lot of her enemy units. A demon general called the Corpse Master Overlord. She cruelly kills people to revive them under her control. Revive defeated ally units. So she could essentially uh, kill all the quick. people on this map and then Neil. have them revive and then kill them again. But I don't yeah. know if she does. Yeah. That would arguably be the best use of her power. Just gonna take those guys out. I will never run away anymore. You. It's never gonna run away anymore. You. Uh, this one is going to take out all of Let's them go. and turn them to so get everything moving. Oh wow! I will. I'm on the top right and die because I've got it. Let's go, go, go! I will. Uh, victory yeah. bullet. On headbutt. Let's go! Headbutt. Headbutt. On headbutt. Head 
but Necro did. Okay. So, she's just taken out. or 40% stronger, and she's going to be able to res all this next turn. You guys, so I'm going to super go. Uh, what skills do you have, dude? Uh, you don't have any combo skills, but you have a combo skill with Red Magnus. So I'm going to try and use that combo skill to yeah. defeat yeah. Margarita, because I think that would be a pretty uh, fun canon way of doing it. I could. What I'm going to do is I'm going to overload. Super Luminal Yeah, okay, cool. With that, I'm going to come over here. Wow, even then I'm still not able to. God, Zerokin, you need to get your shadows stronger. Okay, so with that, because they all have the same movement as Zerokin, I'm going to. Try burst her from behind. Then I am going to do it because I want to put a little bit of damage and give her a and give her a little bit of a combo boost. Um, now I'm going to go over here. Be able to do that. Come over here. I would let Killia just kill this guy, but I would rather him not simply because Kilia does not need the XP. He really doesn't. In fact, he needs yeah. everything but that XP. Okay, so she takes a good amount of damage, uh -huh. speeds down. There's no way I'm gonna let pieces of crap like you corner me. This has to be some sort of mistake. <sighs> You've made so many people suffer. You don't know when to give up. You've gone too far. This is over. This is for my parents. I'm gonna pay you back for what you did to the citizens of Toto Bunny Blitz. Now, raise yourself! I'll do my best, Blitz. <laughs> Leave it to me, Blitz. <laughs> Super big things. <laughs> I like how insanely dumb this one looks. Damn it! Okay, it didn't. It didn't yeah. kill how about it? him. How about it? Oh, oh, crap. Does suck. You. He's no. Damn it! <laughs> that was like the dumbest way in which that could have happened. <laughs> I was really looking forward to being like Mr. Cool Guy. I get to cannonly kill it. I I was even gonna try and like move Red Magnus to try and like get him to kill Madrida, but then she countered like an idiot. All right. Okay, that map is over. Sadness. Got Strat class on the right. Thief just sleeping. An idiot. Damn you! Damn you! Damn you! Go, Lil Usa! Give her the super finishing blow! Yes! This is for my mother and father! <laughs> she disappeared? Or did she vanish for good? We did it! We defeated Majorita Blitz! Mother! Father! Usalia finally did it, Blip! Now I have no regrets! Hey now! What are you saying, Lil Usa? Don't you still have an important duty? Huh? Oh yes! I will stay with everyone until we defeat Void Dark! That's not it. Like this muscle head, it is your duty to restore your netherworld. Usalia is going to restore Toto Bunny? Who else is gonna do it? Your parents didn't want you to get revenge. They wanted you to become a splendid overlord 
who would inherit the land where demons that don't want to fight can live in peace. Me? An overlord? Bro is right, Usalia. Now's not the time for you to say, now I have no regrets. Everyone is right, Clip. Usalia was mistaken this whole time. I thought I didn't care if I died, as long as I could get revenge for my parents. But that was a very irresponsible way for the heir of Toto Bunny to live. Mother, father, Usalia will become a splendid overlord. So even if you're far away, please watch over me. Christo, thank you very much, Plip. It was all thanks to you that I was able to defeat Majorita, Plip. Yeah, if Crystal wasn't here, we probably would have been Majorita's puppets. <laughs> this time, Christo grabbed all the attention. Even Demon General Majorita had no chance against the power of an angel. A, a angel? What are you talking about? I'm a respectable overlord. Oh my, is that so? I'm very sorry. <laughs> So let's hear your answer, Christo. Where is your heart now? Are you really going to leave the rebel army? W well Christo, please! I want you to keep fighting with us, Flip! If you leave the rebel army, Usalia will be really sad, Flip! Me? Leave the rebel army? <laughs> you must be joking. If I, the chief tactician, were to leave, then who would keep this chaotic group together? Huh? What do you mean? Yeah, Christo. You're the one who started saying stuff about wanting to leave the rebel army. That was all my brilliant plan to encourage everyone to think independently. You all depend on me too much, so I thought I'd scare you into becoming more independent. Is that what you were doing, Blip? So then you're gonna keep fighting with us? Yes, of course. Whoa! That was a terrible joke to pull, Lil Sisto. I really took you seriously. I I'm sorry. I went a little too far. I humbly apologize. Well, looks like we're back to the usual Rebel Army, bro. Yeah. Christo was able to grasp his answer, but I... So, I have come to a decision. I refuse to participate. Oh? That's unexpected of you. Is it only me? Would you sound overjoyed? It's only you. You turned down your only opportunity. I'm really, really mad. Funny. I don't sense any anger from you at all. It's your decision to disobey the higher-ups. But how do you plan to stop Armageddon? At this rate, you and your friends will all be blown up. Please tell the higher-ups that if they don't stop the launch of the anti-netherworld annihilation weapon, Armageddon, then... Then what? I'll leak this information to Void Dark, and give him the exact coordinates of Celestia. Oh man, you wouldn't do that! If Void Dark found out about your plan, he'd happily destroy Celestia. I'm surprised you came up with such a great plan at the last minute. But then you'll become a spy for real. I don't care anymore. I don't have any attachments to Celestia. You've changed, Christo. It feels like you've grown up. If I've changed, then it's all because of those demons. They're reckless, stubborn, and forceful, yet... They care about their allies. They are all irreplaceable. Christo secretly grew. He learned the overload skill at Evangel of Purity. Yeah. The magical spear in Toto Bunny has also been destroyed. Warriors of the Rebel Army, enjoy your victory for now. But. Will you be able to overcome your next challenge?
When the demons found out the truth about how Demon Emperor Void Dark was absorbing energy from random netherworlds, small rebellions started breaking out in various locations. Rumors of how a rebel army was rising up to oppose the Demon Emperor spurred more demons to take action. It is said that the demons who lost their ranks and fortunes were pushed into facing off against this great evil by their prides as demons. Yeah, episode 11. End. Good. Huh? Seraphina isn't here? Th then we have no choice. <clears throat> Class 3P has driven many teachers to quit. The teacher who is going to teach them next is... Christo, the newbie teacher. Kilia, don't eat your lunch early. Red Magnus, stop working out in the classroom. Zorokin, do your training at home. Serafina, stop stalking Kilia during class. <coughs> Usalia Spasm, someone get curry from the cafeteria. The students are causing trouble from day one. Can these students be guided to graduation? Teacher Christo's legend begins here. Next time on GTC, episode 12, Iron Fist of Love, Death Guidance Counselor. You have to turn your feelings into words. Whew, I was able to do it. F minus. Ah, I dare you get He did his best. Okay, so we're almost 40 hours in at chapter 12. Another spear has been destroyed. Lord Void Dark, this report has just come in for you, Mera. What? Forgive me for my late introduction. As his 89th secretary, I shall be assisting Lord Void Dark. I am Count Chimera, Mera. Do you want me to kill you? Just read me the report. <laughs> Right away! Margarita has returned, Mera! So she's safe. Bring her here. Yes, my lord. Lord Void Dark. You failed to protect the spear. I don't even have anything to say. I underestimated the power of the rebel army. But next time... I'll never bring shame upon us again. Please forgive me. If you abandon me... Don't worry. I'm glad you came back alive. L Lord Void Dark? Just take care of yourself for a while. You're my indispensable right-hand man. What, what priceless words. I would give my life for Lord Void Dark at any time. To honor the favor Lord Void Dark has placed in me, I must defeat the spiteful rebel army. Episode 12, Unbridled Kilia. I wonder who this chapter's about. Whew. Looks like we're done here. <laughs> they didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> we defeated Demon General Majorita. They have no way of stopping us. Okay, now let's destroy the magical spear blip. All right, let me handle this one. If you fail, we're demoting you to a prinny. Come on, sis. How's that, sis? I met your standards, right? Huh? What happened? Why do you all look so concerned? This is going too smoothly. Compared to before, your security is way too lax. And are the Lost's forces weakening? Many Netherworlds are in a state of rebellion. Most likely because of that, the Lost's forces are spread a little thin. 
We have become the center of a rebellion that is now taking place in various netherworlds. Well, I'm sure the more prideful overlords from the other netherworlds would disagree with that. Do you think that the Lost Army, with its 10 billion soldiers, doesn't have the strength that they used to, Flip? Yes. By my calculations, the Lost Army and the rebellious forces are now about even in numbers. Then this is our super chance! Let's break into Void Dark's lair and lay the crackdown on him! No. We need to focus on destroying the magical spears first. W why We can always defeat Void Dark afterward, but we can only save the Netherworlds that are suffering from the magical spears now. Okay, cheat shot minimum is 40. Exterior. Okay, research complete. So that's all good. So what? Finish this research so I can get the characters back and whatnot. Okay, green and yeah, dude. Uh, that's not very good about that. Yeah, this is the one we need to do. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go through some of them and just delete them. The lower level ones, at least. Let's fix you up. Okay. I went over there to. Make sure the people I saw were still healed up. Yeah, you, guys are, you guys are pretties. See, the OG, like, when I had the season pass on the PS4 for this game, that's all I used all the DLC characters for. Of course, I also used them in battles and whatnot. But I use them mostly for stuff like that. Okay, so let's see if there's any strategy or some of these stuff. Kill ya, boo boo. He wants a trophy. Come battle buddies with her. Uh, how's your subclass going? Pretty good, almost almost maxed out Magic Knight or whatever that was. Yeah. Accept quests? Okay, that's good. So we got a new recruit. So I need healer rank 3 or better. Okay, let me try. Review. Of course, I knew I had a healer. Rank 3 better. Okay. Celestial Host, I believe, is just the male version of the uh, Celestial Hostess. That's who one would expect from Host versus Hostess. Um, so let's do the conversation. Well. I imagine there would be many conversations, so let's do one conversation to end the episode, and then we can do the next one next time. So, Serafina, didn't she say she ran away from home because she was being forced into a marriage? Yeah, super right. What's her about it? So now they're just talking about Serafina's reasoning as to why she's in the rebel army and whatnot. Over the gorgeous, why isn't anyone coming after her? So, Usually the conversations can be used to kind of see into the future a little bit as to, hey, why, like, like what's the plot of this chapter going to be about? So even though this episode is called Killian Unbridled, I believe this is the Seraphina growth chapter. So now Seraphina's here asking what they're talking about, uh, and the servants. Uh, Red is still angry about being called her servant, and it's just Seraphina being Seraphina. So, one thing that I did want to uh, touch upon, uh, not about this, I'm going to not even pay attention to it for the most part, is the cutscene with Goldion and Kilia, where Goldion is saying, hey, you need to use your fists to, you need, your, you need to use your power to fight for the people and things you love. And he, Goldion took Kili, Kilia, Kilidia, in, because he saw the potential in him. And I always found that kind of strange, or always, I realized I found it strange, simply because, like, Kilia grew up in cryo blood, where, as he said multiple times, just fighting, 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 all by himself, whatnot, and he didn't love anybody. So how could Goldion see the potential to love in Kilia? 
Like, the only way I can see it is Goldion understands that every demon has, like, the potential to have a pure heart. And he just more or less saw the power in Kilia. He didn't see, like, his potential to find the things he loved. Because Kilia has never had things he loved. He's always been kind of the lone wolf fighting for his life, didn't really have time for that. And right now, they're they're just talking about uh, Serafina and, like, who she is. And her being kind of angry and embarrassed that, uh, basically, oh, my heart belongs to no man, but it's like, isn't it Sir Kilia's? But, uh, we're finally uh, getting into, like, the thick of all the stuff, because now we see, like, okay, like, Lord Void Dark, Demon, Demon Emperor, didn't kill Madrida even after she failed big time. And of course, I feel like it doesn't really matter because he sent out a lot of spears. So, like, I feel like it doesn't really matter all that much. And they're saying, like, oh, our numbers are now equal. I feel like that also doesn't matter. They have Goldion, essentially, on their team, where if you send a spear to one world and just defend that one spear with a super strong person, it doesn't matter how many other people come. And, like, this game is very good at understanding that, even from a player's point of view. Like, Killer, level 185. No amount of level 5 demons are going to be able to kill him because they can't damage him. And that's one thing that... Like, I find interesting, because it's like, oh, like, numbers don't mean anything in this game. It's all about levels. So, on that note, I'm going to call episode 29 to an end. And we will see you, that's the royal we, by the way, in episode 30. So, I hope you all have a very nice day. Okay, you know what? I don't need these two hours. I'm going to just drop two hours into this one item, just go through all the levels, and just chill. <laughs>